My name is Dr. Jamila Mahmoud. I am the Under Secretary General for Partnerships at the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. In the late 90s, I, there was a strong calling, I felt, to uh, get into the humanitarian sector, particularly because I saw a lot of the people who were suffering were women and young children. And I felt that my expertise was needed and could be applied uh, in these very difficult humanitarian crises. So I started my organization then called Mercy Malaysia and um, led it for 10 years, grew it from an organization from the global south. You know, we are facing some of the most complex challenges in the world today. If you look back, the humanitarian sector has really, you know, done a lot of very interesting and good things. But it's just that the challenges just keep growing and therefore we are never able to really catch up. And this is the basic problem with the humanitarian sector. We're always catching up. And maybe part of the reason is we have to accept that not all humanitarian situations have humanitarian solutions. And that's really important. A lot of the complexity we're facing today requires political leadership and political solutions. We also are living in a world where there is disparity in wealth. And there's also youth bulges in some continents. And a lot of youth now are going to be facing a world where the future of work is going to be very different. We have the fourth industrial revolution, we have artificial intelligence, we have automation, we have robotics. You know, this is going to have an impact on young people and their, their jobs. So what are we going to do in future? What kind of skills are required by young people that will help them uh, be able to make a living in the future and to have their place in the world. We live in a world with wealth, yet we're always constantly short of funding for humanitarian crises. So where is the global solidarity in actually trying to address some of the global problems we face today? It's not on the shoulders of just some donors. It should be everyone's problem that, you know, we will have global security and global peace if everyone in the world feels a sense of peace. I think the first thing we need to recognize is technology is only one tool. It's not the end all. I think what we need to understand is the world is moving so fast and technology helps us to catch up with that speed that we required. Some solutions can be very well developed on a technology uh, you know, platform, but at the end of the day, we must remember we're humans and we connect through a common humanity and that culture and tradition and communication and interpersonal relationships are crucial. You can't replace that with technology. Whereas we talk about the future, it's so easy to be caught up in the technology. I think what we need to do is say that innovation that Henri Dunant brought is the same innovation we need to bring to the future, the future of humanity. The future really demands for us to use whatever knowledge we have to be able for us to be more adaptable, more flexible, and not just be reactive.